Hello, everyone, welcome back to AppGeeker channel. Today's video will be about how to record sound from your computer or how to capture the audio your computer is playing. We all know that it's easy to record your voice on the computer using a microphone or headphone. But there are times when you want to record pure audio from your PC, such as recording the sound of a video or the music playing on your computer or you're participating in an online webinar, Zoom meeting, Google Meet meeting, or other online conference and you want to capture the participants' voices throughout the process. Okay, whatever the reason, you can use the three methods introduced in this video to effortlessly record audio on your PC. Now let's get started. The first method is to use the voice recorder that comes with your Windows computer. The advantage of this method is that you don't need to download any third-party programs. However, it is important to note that the built-in recording software has different names in different versions of Windows. If you are using Windows 10, then you can use Voice Recorder app, and if you are using Windows 11, you need to open the Sound Recorder app. But before opening the recording software, you need to adjust some sound settings so that you can record audio on your PC. On your Windows 10 PC, go to Settings menu first. Then open System and navigate to the Sound section. OK, on the right side of the Sound panel is the Related Settings option. Here select Sound Control Panel to continue. Alright, now a small window for sounds and recording settings will pop up. Right, here you can set the input and output sources for the sound. Let's move on. Click the recording panel and right-click Stereo Mix. If you have a lot of input devices connected and you don't see Stereo Mix in the pane, right-click on a blank area and make sure both View Disabled Devices and View Disconnected Devices options are checked. You should see a Stereo Mix option appear. Now select Enable in the given option to activate Stereo Mix feature. The configuration of Stereo Mix for Windows 11 is similar to that of Windows 10. Only in the sound panel, you need to scroll down to more sound settings to open the input device window, after that the steps are the same as in Windows 10. OK, now everything is ready and you can run the voice recorder or sound recorder on your computer. Here I take the voice recorder as an example, you can start recording the system sound by clicking the blue microphone button. Now, the app will only record the internal sound of your computer by default and will not capture the voice from the microphone. When you're done recording, you can play back your recording or trim it or share it with your friends as you like. Well, that is how to record internal audio using the recording software pre-installed in Windows PC. And please note that the next time you want to record your own voice with the built-in voice recorder, you need to disable Stereo Mix first. If you find it troublesome to configure Stereo Mix, you can turn to an all-in-one recording tool like AppGeeker Screen Recorder. AppGeeker Screen Recorder enables you to quickly record system sound and microphone separately or together. And you can also adjust your audio recordings with the editing tools it comes with. Now, let's check this out. After downloading the software from the link below the video, open it on your computer. See, you will find several function options on the main interface. Now select Audio Recorder to proceed. Before recording, you can adjust the recording parameters. Within Audio Recorder, in the upper right corner, click the gear icon to enter the preference window. Here you can choose the audio format, such as MP3, M4A, WMA, etc. Besides, you can choose the audio quality, from lowest to lossless. When you have configured it to your needs, return to the Audio Recorder page to go on. Now choose your audio source, system sound, or microphone. In order to record the sound from your computer, you can toggle only the system sound switch and drag the slider to adjust the volume level as needed. Now you can hit Rec to start recording audio. During recording, all audio from apps, web pages, games, or others on your computer will be captured. If you want to end the recording, just click the Stop button on the floating bar. Then you can preview and edit the audio in the window that appears. Great! You've easily done a pure internal audio recording this way. 
Okay, now let's go to the third method, using a free and open source recording software. It is Audacity. Audacity is also a well-known recording and editing software, and it is equipped with many advanced features, especially in the area of merging multi-track audio. Although its interface is a bit complicated, it is not really hard to use it to record computer audio. Now, if your computer does not have Audacity installed, you will first have to download and open it on your Windows PC. Alright, now navigate to Audio Setup, Host and then choose Windows Wasabi. Also, you can change the recording device and playback device here. Now click the red circle button to start recording the audio being played on your computer. You can judge the recording status and volume level according to the ripples displayed in the interface. When you are done, click the stop button to end recording. Then you can click file in the upper left corner and find the export option to save your audio. Okay, that's the steps to record internal audio using Audacity. Well, the three methods provided in this video can help you record computer audio, choose the one that suits you best and start recording now. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more information about tech tips. Thanks for watching.